Hello, and welcome to this presentation on creating a virtual machine network using Oracle Linux Virtualization Manager. In this video, you will learn to define the function and role of a logical network in the Oracle Linux Virtualization Manager environment. We will demonstrate the steps to create a logical network and use it for virtual machine traffic by assigning it to a KVM host. Network management in Oracle Linux Virtualization Manager utilizes the physical devices attached to hosts as the backbone for its virtualized infrastructure. A logical network is a method for segregating network traffic by usage type. It is a bridge network for communicating between every KVM host and the manager host. Also, every data center or cluster must have at least one logical network available. An example would be the OVIRT MGMT network. It is the default network in the default data center, and every KVM host has one. The network shows up every time the KVM host boots. You can view the network bridges on a system by running the bridge administration command brctl show. Let's have a look at the output from this command on the console of a KVM host. In a terminal window, I use the command brctl show and pipe it to grep ovirt to limit the output to just the overt management bridge. Column headers do not display, but the command output shows the overt management bridge name its bridge ID, and the Network Interface Controller, or NIC, NIC, assigned to it. The VDSM service generates an interface configuration script for each logical network bridge in the forward slash etc forward slash sysconfig forward slash network dash scripts directory. We can see our configuration script file using the command cat forward slash etc forward slash sysconfig forward slash network dash scripts forward slash asterisk ovirt Asterisks. Each of these files provides information specific to a particular network interface. Now we will look at creating a new logical network. After logging into the Oracle Linux Virtualization Manager administration portal, we're brought to the dashboard screen. We select Network from the left menu and then Networks. This shows us a list of networks already created. Currently, the only logical network available is the OVIRT MGMT network. To create a new logical network, we click the New button. This opens up the New Logical Network dialog window. This dialog opens by default with the General tab selected on the sidebar. We select the data center for the network from the data center drop-down list. Since the only data center I have is the default data center, it is the only option available on the drop-down list. It is also the default menu option. In the Name field, I enter a name for the new network. Because this network is for virtual machine traffic, I will use vm-net as the descriptive name for it. Under the Network Parameters section, I leave the VM Network checkbox selected. Unchecking this option would open the network to any non-virtual machine use. For example, if we are going to create a network for storage or migration use, we would uncheck the box. Or for any use other than virtual machine traffic. We keep the default settings for the other Cluster and VNIC Profiles tabs in the dialog window. We click OK to create the network, and we see the new VM-Net network is now listed in the Networks table. Next, we will associate the new logical network to an unassigned network interface card, or NIC, on a KVM host. This action opens the connection between the logical network and the physical device on the host. To do this, from the menu we select Compute, and then click Hosts. The host list opens. Under the Name column, we select the name of the host to which we will add the network, in this case, OVS018. We click the Network Interfaces tab on the horizontal menu list. Here we see details of the various network interfaces on the host. We highlight the network interface that we want to use for the network being added by clicking the row for the respective interface. Here we click on ENO1. We then click Set up Host Networks. The Set up Host Networks dialog opens for the host, and we can see the physical interfaces on the host listed under the Interfaces column. The dialog box displays the Assigned Logical Networks under the Assigned Logical Networks column. The Unassigned Logical Networks section shows any unassigned logical networks. In this case, the only unassigned network is the VM-Net network we just created. So we assign the VM-Net logical network to one of the available interfaces under the Assigned Logical Networks column. To 
to do this, we drag the vm-net network and drop it on the no network assigned box beside the interface we want to use. For us, it's eno1. We keep the verify connectivity and save network configuration checkboxes selected. This is the default selection for this dialog window. We click OK to assign eno1 to our new virtual machine logical network. This closes the dialog window and returns us to the network interfaces list. A status message shows it is finished configuring the network on our host. Under the interface name, we can also see a list showing one logical network selected. Going back to the terminal session, we run the brctl show pipe grep vm net command to view the new bridged network. The output shows the name and the interface assigned to it. We now have a network in the virtualization environment dedicated to virtual machine traffic. In this video, we learned to define the function and role of a logical network in the Oracle Linux Virtualization Manager environment. We saw the steps for creating a logical network and using it for virtual machine traffic by assigning it to a KVM host. Oracle provides an extensive number of resources which you can use to find out more about this subject and others. You can find documentation on Oracle Linux Virtualization Manager at the link shown. You can find more videos about using Oracle Linux Virtualization Manager from the training link provided. There is a comprehensive Oracle Linux curriculum available to support a full range of Linux administration skills for cloud, on-premise, and hybrid users. And for more information or to get started in Oracle cloud infrastructure, go to cloud.oracle.com. And for more training on Linux and Oracle cloud infrastructure, go to the link shown here. That's the end of the video. Thanks for watching.